welcome to my channel. It's so nice to have you here today. In this video, I'll be sharing with you an activity which is called Thumbs Up and Down. Let's get straight down to it to show you how to prepare your students for correct, nice and neat essays. Click the subscribe button and stay tuned for more activities, more videos for you and your students and exam preparation materials. Give me a big thumbs up and let's get it rolling. Now, a pre-writing activity has to do with preparing our students for the topic. Now, first and foremost, we got to prepare them and get them accustomed to the topic at all. Uh, in this case, we are most specifically targeting for and against essays, advantages and disadvantages. So, that's why I recommend levels B1 to C1 to be the most suitable levels for this activity, according to the European framework. Now, what do you need to prepare yourself? Of course, the night before, you have to have chosen your topic. Now, choose a controversial matter, something about which people can dispute, something that has negative and positive effects or advantages and disadvantages, so it will serve your activity in the best way possible. Next, you're going to find yourself papers and pencils to carry with you in class for your students to write on, and you need an hourglass. Why not just take the hourglass of any commercial board game that you have at home? I bet you must be having some for your own children or for your students, ones that you've used before. If not, then try to buy a bigger one. Because I personally find these hourglasses, the small ones of the board games, a little too small. And I, prepare, and I prefer my students to have more time to think. So maybe if you buy one, just try to buy a bigger one. Okay, now, here are the rules. You are in class and what do you do? First of all, let us prepare our students with a brainstorming activity. Now, in this case, you just get to know what they already know about the topic, if they know much or if they don't. So you get to change a bit, a few ideas and make yourself a nice and neat mind map on the board. This one is a good example of a mind map, okay? So try to organize their ideas and give them a little structure. In this point, you can see how I simultaneously boost their speaking abilities, right? Because they gotta pre present their ideas in English in class. By the way, I do recommend that this will be an English-only activity, no matter what your uh, mother tongue is. So good, after having done this, and all your students knew, know what the whole class knows, so you've got to change a bit of information. Here are the rules. First of all, you team your students up. I totally suggest that you do that, okay? Team them up, they've got more uh, experience and it's much more fun for them. Of course, it depends on your classroom management generally and how you generally act as a teacher and your teaching style. But in this case, uh, a teamwork would be much, much better. Okay, so team them up. Distribute the papers and pencils that you've brought and place um, the art glass on a desk where everybody can see it. Now, before time's up, your students have to come up with ideas that are for or against the topic or that are advantages and disadvantages. It depends on the topic that you've chosen, what exactly you're doing, right? So every time they come up with an advantage of it, they got to show you the thumbs up. Okay, a thumbs up means they've got an advantage and you give them a point or a thumbs down is for every time they come up with a disadvantage or a negative effect or whatever. So what you do is you count their thumbs ups and downs so you can uh, count their points and keep a record of their points on the board. Great. Now, when time's up, you can play over, you can play it over, or you can just stop. It depends on how many ideas you've got or the purposes, the more specific purposes that you want to target. Good. Now, the winner of uh, the game will be the first to present their ideas on the board. So this is another uh, point where we have put their critical thinking into action already. And now we, um, we also boost their presentation skills, which is truly important. It's their transferable skills and you should try to, you know, boost them as much as you can and help them improve in these sectors too. That's what I believe. Okay, now 
the first um, team presents their opinions. So students have the chance now to make some questions, to say if they agree or disagree. So make sure you create a little of a, of a, a discussion and a dispute uh, in your class. Good, and that's all. Play it over as long as you want, as long as it serves your purposes. Now your students have as many ideas as they could possibly have to deal with the topic in written English. Whether you assign this uh, as a homework or if you do this in another session with them in class, it doesn't matter. Keep it rolling as you, as you wish and as your students are accustomed to already. I'm sure you will enjoy this activity in class. My students love it, so I wish you have a great time with them and I promise you that the educational results will be as wanted, as wished. Okay, great. If you want to learn more about activities and how to plan your lessons, why not join our webinar? I am posting uh, the link for my website in the comment section. So take a look at it and I hope we jo you join us and we meet there too. Stay tuned for more activities. Nice to have you around here. Bye-bye.